Hi there and welcome to module five. This is brand new. I'm recording this in 2023 and the original TENS course was written as lockdown hit us in 2020 and EY Maths was born. And the course has been so incredibly successful. We have individuals, we have groups, small groups in schools and settings, and we have huge organizations, whole local authorities all around the world studying this training. And we have tweaked it and I have improved it as the years have gone on. But we got to the stage recently where the feedback has been 100% positive from you all and the excitement and the impact. And what you started to ask about was what happens now we've seen such an incredible change in our three, four and five year olds in the way that we are understanding how they learn, the way that we're teaching our knowledge. These children have got phenomenal number sense. They've got number sense that we're not seeing, never mind with our five to seven year olds, but we're not seeing it in our seven to 11 year olds and beyond. And you think, well, of course we're not, because if you're not given a tool, you can never use it. So that has led to me thinking for a long time about doing a transition module, module five, for not just moving. So in England, we've got reception, which is four and five year olds into year one, which is five and six year olds. But I wanted to look at that five to seven year old journey. So in England, that is what we call key stage one. We've got two year groups a nursery and reception together, three, four and five. And then the next two year groups are called key stage one, which is five, six and seven. And most of you are working within that structure. But if you're not just to help you make sense of that. So I wanted to look at what that looks like how to use everything that you have learned in this course and because we give you a minimum of four months access to the course impact members get six months team impact you get 12 months but you've all got the opportunity to revisit many many times pause it watch it again practice with your children what you are learning and then come back and revisit those key messages and I wanted to make sure that you could take everything that you have learned there and see that this is not about teaching early years children. What it's fundamentally about is the journey of number sense, where this starts, how we are building on foundations all the way through mathematics. And the other thing that you worry about is when you look at what the curriculum says or you look at what a scheme is asking you to do, how do you marry all that up? It's one thing being given a wonderful toolbox of skills but you're not just teaching maths. And I've been there for longer than I've been a consultant. Your head is so full of everything that you have to do. And you're very, very conscious of the pressures on you from whether it's inspectors, senior leaders, uh, as I say, a scheme that you've invested in. And the idea that, of course, you've got to meet the requirements of the curriculum. So module five has been written with that in mind. It has been written with first and foremost, it's about your knowledge, your math subject knowledge, your pedagogical skill. So what do you need to understand mathematically and how do children of five to seven learn? That's really important. So that's what I'm going to be basing this on. This is about you and your children. Everyone else sits second to that, but they are there. So also what module five is going to really consciously do is make sure you can see that I am giving you advice and giving you a pathway to follow that enables you to not have to ignore things that are happening around you and things that you feel accountable to. The simple message is when you have the right knowledge and tools, when you use them and sharpen them and get more and more proficient and you gain the mastery that you need to teach well, you will blow any curriculum expectations out of the water. I promise you 100%. So the most important message is you cannot see this as a standalone module. If you are working with nursery children and you think I don't teach five to seven year olds, your children are going to be five, six and seven. So this is relevant to you. If you're teaching five, six and seven year olds and you don't teach three, four and three and four year olds, and you think, I don't need to know that, you do because your children used to be that age. And if they've had the experiences that I teach in the TENS course, you need to build on them. And if they haven't had them, they're going to need those first. So I hope that makes sense. I want you to be really excited. And I want you to remember as well that unlike live training, that happens once and it's exciting and it's exhilarating and it can also be quite scary. 
that doesn't work. Yes, we have great contact on the day if I come into your setting live, but I'm not there afterwards. And I don't leave a recording of my training. So you can't go back and think, you know, when I was thinking about that and I missed what she said, or I did it with my children now, and now I want to go back and hear this again. With online training, I was forced to do this because of COVID, but I am choosing to do it now because it works so well. You need to be able to pause. You need to be able to rewind. You need to be able to study in little snack size bits. You need to go and try it out and come back. You need to sit down together if you're studying as a team and discuss things. This really, really works. So this is, you know, beyond anything I could have imagined having myself squeeze every single gram of goodness out of this. Make sure that when you need follow-up, you have my Facebook page, which is my EYMAS three to five with Karen Wilding community. If you're not a Facebook user, use someone else's account that is a friend, a colleague, and be a part of that group. I am only one question away. That's all you have to do is reach out. And we have literally thousands of practitioners now who can step in and say, I understand your context and this is what I learned and this is what I do. This is wonderful, everybody. So I can't wait to now take you on this journey for the transition to Key Stage 1, or if you're not teaching Key Stage 1, that transition from teaching our youngest children through to that next stage in their journey as young mathematicians. So enjoy. <laughs>